Hey, my name is Big Mac. This is part one of my video tutorial. Now, first off, I want to tell you I'm not a good spokesman. I'm trying. I think I'm getting better, but I want to explain everything before I show you how to use it. I want you to understand how it works before, you know. I'm going to create three executables, and these three executables will have my IP address and source port hard coded directly into them. And I'm going to go ahead and start up a Metasploit console. Right here, I'm creating trick.exe. And I'll create the other ones. Meta.exe, VN.exe. Okay, now I'll go to virus total and I will scan these files I just created. You might have seen a video pretty similar to this. John Strand, he, cre he creates some excellent videos. He, I actually got this whole concept from him. I just took it one step further. He just showed you the proof of concept on how it's fully undetected. You can see the three files I created. I'm not going to scan all three of them because I know for sure they're undetected. But I'll scan the first one. And you can see right there, 0 out of 37. Okay, trick.exe is step one in this whole process. Trick.exe, as soon as your victim runs trick.exe. It's going to connect back to me and execute this script. Scraper.rb and this script will create a directory on the victim's computer. Windows, or uh, system slash windows. And will upload two files into this folder. Meta.exe and vn.exe. After uploading meta.exe and vn.exe, it will then execute meta.exe. This script will also add meta.exe to the startup registry. And uh, it'll, it'll let you know successful. Successfully added. Okay, and right here, okay, meta.exe, when it's executed, it will also execute another script, which I'll show you over here. Okay, here's this part located in the temp directory stealth.rb meta.exe will execute this script and this script will shut down all antivirus software in this list it's not really needed because you know the the programs they are fully undetected but you know it's a cool little script I figured I'd add it to give that extra effect once that script's done executing, it'll say, get it, baby. This means, you know, you're ready to go. Everything ran smoothly. All files have been uploaded and placed in the correct directory. 
and executed. Now trick.exe, it only needs to be ran one time. After that, it's pretty much useless. It's served its purpose. It's done. You know, it's trick.exe. The name explains it all. Trick someone into running it. Hey, buddy, test this program out for me. Tell me if you get any bugs. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, it's Big Mac. And this is part two of my tutorial. I'm going to show you how to set up the multi-handlers needed to accept the connection from the executables. Right here it's real simple. Copy and paste this directly into a Metasploit console. You got to hit enter a couple times. And there you go. And uh, go ahead and hit jobs. Type in jobs. And you can see there's two exploit multi-handlers waiting for shells to connect back to me. Now I already placed the program, I already placed trick.exe on another computer, so there you go, I just executed it, and it says successful, and get it baby, there you go, everything went smoothly. You can check your seasons list, you can see trick.exe is on port 100, and meta.exe is on port 101. Now I'm going to interact with the second season session. And right there, meta.exe and trick.exe. You can leave them both running, but you know, I'm just going to go ahead and kill trick.exe. Because we don't need it. But it's always nice to have that extra shell running. Just in case something happens. Okay, you can see trick.exe is not running. No more. Now, here's a cool little feature called migrate. I'm gonna migrate meta.exe with another process. Now, I could have added this same function to the script I created, or to the script that was executed earlier. There you go. Migration was successful, and meta.exe no longer exists in the process tree. It migrated with another process. Now there's all kinds of things you can do with Metaterpreter. You know, it's one of my favorite shells to use. can upload, download, edit the registry. Right here you can use priv, you can hash 